Happy Sukkot, everybody. This is Avi Abelo from IsraelOnWire.com here in the beautiful Judean hills right behind me. And as, as you can tell, here we are in our Sukkah here in the Judean hills. And you can see other Sukkot here in the area on other, on other apartments here in the apartment buildings. And the Sukkot holiday in Israel is amazing. And again, it is like every holiday here in Israel where we know we are home. Because the whole country is celebrating our Jewish holidays. That's how we know we're home. It's the country where the culture revolves around the Jewish calendar. And the Jewish holidays are part of the natural fabric of Israeli society. Where you see our celebrations taking place all over the place. You see our customs happening all over the place. Um, and it's just such a beautiful thing here in Israel. We, the Jewish people, are able to feel at home. You don't feel weird about putting up a temporary hut for seven days on your roof or on the, or on the street. The whole country is putting up temporary huts, Sukkot, all over the place. So what can I tell you? What little update can I tell you? It's been a very, very weird weather this Sukkot season. Um, I fixed our schach, our, our roof of our sukkah hut, but it was all messed up because the wind totally blew it all over the place. There was a huge hole up there. I had to put it all back together so that we can sit under here because according to the Torah, according to the tradition, we are supposed to sit and eat in the hut, but we can only sit and eat in it if we are covered above with the proper covering. So if there's a big hole there, you can't sit under the hole. You have to fill it up. But we're the lucky ones because the weather here has been crazy. There was rain yesterday. We wanted to go out on a hike and we weren't able to because it was raining. Um, but there were some communities that the, the not just the rain, but the wind was so strong that Sukkot were blown down. There are videos of sukkahs blowing all over the place, a sukkah off of an apartment building blowing down, some sukkot being destroyed because of the wind. Um, and that is weird for this season. Usually we sit in here, it might get a little cool, it might get a little chilly, there might be some wind, but for there to be really strong winds, that sukkot are destroyed, and for there to be rain this early in the season, that's very strange. So much so that the Torah actually says that it's a curse for it to rain during the holiday of Sukkot. But if you look really, really into the Torah, the real curse is only for the first day of Sukkot, where it is a biblical commandment to sit and eat in the Sukkah. So the rain and the winds didn't come till the second day of Sukkot. So if you're really looking at the biblical narrative to understand reality today, so no, it is not a curse. That, uh, that it started to rain, that, that we had the winds already, even though it's not making our current sukkah holiday as enjoyable as usual, because some people weren't able to eat in the sukkah, and some sukkot were blown down, but people have put their sukkahs back up. You can see there's no wind now, nothing going on, and we're back to a regular weather schedule or so, we'll see. The other unbelievable weather uh, uh, phenomenon that we had was a lightning storm. There was a lightning storm in Jerusalem two nights ago. Unbelievable. Thank God no one was hurt. Because uh, yesterday there was another lightning storm, not in Jerusalem, but on, uh, on a beach. On a beach. Families, beautiful weather, people going out to the beach, people going out to pools. And unfortunately there was one family hit, literally, by the lightning. Uh, five members of the family were electrocuted by the lightning that fell. And please pray, pray, pray for those members of that family. I will copy and paste the names of those family members up above in the text uh, so you can keep their, uh, their, their, their names in your prayers. Uh, again, weird uh, occurrence of uh, actual electrocution from a lightning storm on a beach here in Israel. And then finally, I have to put this in here, my friend Josh Wander just joined watching this morning. He was at the Western Wall of the Temple Mount. 
for the annual special priestly blessing ceremony at the Western Wall of the Temple Mount. I think it was like 40,000 people who were out there being blessed by the priests, by the Kohanim, and we hope and pray for the day when that priestly uh, blessing ceremony won't be taking put at the foot of the holiest place of the Jewish people at the western wall of the Temple Mount, but on top on the Temple Mount itself, and one day we will be back there. And obviously for all of you to remind you, the Sukkot, the Sukkot holiday is one of our three holidays called the Shalosh Regalim, our, one of the three feet, right? The, sorry, feet, a regular feet is one of, one of the, it's also mean going up, that people used to go up to Jerusalem. Where they used to go up to Jerusalem? To the Temple Mount. This was one of the three times of the year, Sukkot, Pesach, Shavuot, these three holidays that Aliyah Regal, people on their feet used to walk up to Jerusalem, to the Temple Mount. So today people will be, go to Jerusalem to visit, and we'll be going to Jerusalem today to visit. We miss the priestly blessings, but one day we hope that we will return to the Temple Mount itself, all Jewish people, with freedom of worship for all, as the Temple is supposed to be, as the Temple Mount is supposed to be, and that's only going to be when the Jewish people we return to our own true identity and have pride in our true identity and stand up for our values and our culture, which allows the freedom of worship for all others. So hopefully one day we will be there. We're still not there yet, but that's what I'm about and spreading the truth so we can get to that day. And it's all about us being proud Jews and standing up for who we are, what we believe in, our connection to this land, because ultimately true peace will come to this land when the Jewish people reclaim our true identity and understand that we're, God wants us here in order to help humanity. God wants us in Judea and Samaria so that we're able to help humanity so there can be peace in the region and peace in the world. God wants the Jewish people to be the true sovereign on the Temple Mount so there will be freedom of worship for all and everyone could recognize God as the one true creator and the only one true God in the world. That is what the Jewish people's purpose is and we're still not there yet. Not all Jews recognize that. Some Jews still think, oh, if we give if we give our land away, if we let them have power on the Temple Mount, then things will be peaceful. No! God knows exactly what's necessary in order to bring true peace to the world and true peace in the Middle East and it all depends upon the Jewish people reclaiming our identity and living here and acting as the true sovereign and not allowing for evil to exist not allowing for false idols to be worshipped it happens here God wrote the road map for us and we just have to return to our true identity and true pride in standing up for ourselves as our people in our homeland alright folks that's the short Sukkot update thanks for watching be happy be very happy always be happy every day but especially today during the Sukkot holiday Chag Sameach, Moadim Lesimcha, signing off and saying shalom from the beautiful ancestral and eternal homeland of the Jewish people, the Judean Hills. Thanks for watching, everyone.